Religious people often say that atheists have no morals because they have no moral guide. If you believe this, let me ask you something. If you're a Christian, chances are the Bible is your moral guide, but is that all the Bible or just some of it? It's just the good bits, isn't it? The bits you've cherry-picked, because obviously if you wanted to live in a Leviticus-style society where people are stoned and mutilated for insane and trivial reasons, you could simply move to Iran. But how do you decide which are the good bits and which are the bad in the Bible? What do you use as a moral guide? The Bible? Well, surely not. If so, you would simply accept the bad along with the good, which is clearly what the Bible wants you to do. Otherwise, the bad wouldn't be in there in the first place, would it? But no, you don't do that. You defy the Bible. You sift out the bad and discard it for the ignorant, primitive barbarism it is. In short, you edit the Bible to suit your own sensibilities. So where do you get the moral guidance to impose your authority on the word of the Bible? It has to come from a higher source, doesn't it? These things usually do. And it does, of course. It comes from you. You are a higher source than the Bible. A much higher source. The criminals who run religion don't want you to know or to act upon this because then their influence over you would be zero. Yet the evidence is clear. You sifted the good from the bad in the Bible without the Bible's help. You did it against the Bible's will and you did it all on your own because whether you like it or not, you have a conscience, which means that you are capable of distinguishing good from evil without the help of Scripture, and you have just proven it beyond any shadow of doubt. So in fact, the Bible is not your moral guide, you are. It doesn't provide you with a moral compass, you do. And the only faith you need is faith in yourself. Oh, happy day.